I'm Jada De Laurentiis, and we are cooking in my home kitchen. And I'm making one of my favorite summertime dishes. Um, it's actually great any time of year, but this is pasta alla gricia. And pasta alla gricia is a really simple dish, and I think that's probably why I love it. It's a Roman dish, and traditionally in Rome, it's made with guanciale, but I couldn't find any guanciale, and I didn't have any, so instead of guanciale, we are using bacon. You could also use pancetta. Um, the two main ingredients are the pasta, and we're using linguine today, and the bacon. And I'm using a um, applewood smoked bacon. You could use a hickory smoked bacon as well, or really any kind of bacon that you like. And I've already got my pasta water going, so you should have it at a nice roiling boil. And I've already started rendering my bacon. And a tip for rendering bacon, it's a lot easier to cut bacon if you cut it when it's cold. So pull it out of the fridge right before you want to cook it, and it makes it really easy to cut through. Um, so anyway, you start to render this, and then you want to kind of get rid of half of the amount of, um, of fat that comes up once you render it. You want to keep some of it because that's the flavor for the pasta. So now that we have our water boiling, and because I'm using a long pasta like linguine, I want to have a tall pot so that there's enough water to cook the pasta. And yes, I'm adding a lot of salt. Um, the thing about pasta is the first time you flavor it is when you add the salt to the water. So I want to make sure it tastes really good. And here are my linguine. Actually, we can just toss them in just like that. And what you want to do is give it a little stir, kind of make sure that the pasta goes down into the boiling water. There we go. And then we're going to let the pasta cook for a few minutes. There we go. This dish is all about the black pepper, the Parmesan cheese, and the pecorino. So we're going to start with some yummy pecorino. And being a Roman dish, um, it actually, most people have heard of um, pasta la matriciana. And a matriciana is sort of the second sister to pasta la gricia. So they started with pasta la gricia in a town outside of Rome named Gricia or Griciano. And they just made it with bacon, cheese, and pasta. And then they started adding tomato, which ended up being a matriciana. So it's sort of the older sister of a matriciana. So it's kind of a cool story. You can see that all of these pastas are sort of, they all um, come from each other. So they're all sort of related to each other. You could make this pasta with any kind of short or long pasta. It doesn't have to be linguine um, or spaghetti, but traditionally in Rome, that's how you're gonna find it. We're gonna use about a half a cup of both these cheeses. And here we go with the Parmesan, there we go. And if you can only find one or you only have one cheese, that's fine. Do all Parmesan or do all Pecorino, either one will work. I love the combo, so I try to do both. There we go, and I love a lot of cheese. So I'll finish this pasta up with a little bit more cheese. And black pepper is sort of up to you. I'm gonna add some black pepper, but a lot of times because Jade eats these pastas with me, she's not a big lover of black pepper, so that's kind of up to you how much black pepper you're gonna add. And it probably depends also on what kind of bacon you use because um, some bacons have black pepper in them. There we go. Okay, cheese is done. So freshly ground, coarse black pepper. And we're just adding a little bit here, you can see. There we go right on top of the bacon. And we're just giving, giving the pasta a little stir to cook. And what we're also gonna do is we're gonna add some pasta water because it starts sort of making the sauce before we add the pasta. There we go. And we can get all the flavors of the bacon and the pasta water because the pasta water has the gluten from cooking the pasta, so it gives it a nice sort of texture to it. Turn this on, turn it off, there we go. Just have it on low heat. And the other trick is that a lot of Italians love to finish cooking their pasta in the sauce. So we're gonna do that today. Okay, so we're gonna add the pasta directly into the sauce. There we go. Put it 
directly into the sauce, just like that. And before we start mixing, we've got our cheese, our pecorino and our parmesan, and we just dump it right on top. more cheese and a little bit more pasta water. We add about a cup of pasta water. So if you want to drain your pasta in the sink, just make sure that you reserve about a cup of pasta water. Sometimes you'll need to use it all and sometimes you won't, but it's a good thing to have on hand. We'll just let this continue to cook and I'm going to add a little more cheese to this. Mix it all together. There we go. And this is a fun pasta too because you could add peas to it. You could add any vegetable you want. You could add arugula if you wanted to. And of course, if you added tomatoes, it would become a matriciana. I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese. Let's do it. There we go. Okay, just keep tossing it. We just have the stove on low. Look at that. Basically, it's bacon, pasta, and cheese, and some black pepper. There we go. This is as simple as it gets. And I think quite fantastic, too. I feel like this is a pasta everybody can master. It's like pasta 101. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now we are going to put it in our pan. Here we go. We can put a little more cheese on top. I like to let it rain cheese. And then, for the true test, I'm just gonna taste one little bit of this just to make sure that it's a home run, but it smells like a home run. Honestly, is there anything better than bacon? It makes everything taste fantastic. It's the perfect, perfect quick pasta, weeknight or summer, or as a side at a barbecue. Pasta la gricha. It is fantastic. Thanks for joining me.